you know, kind of, uh, you know, who are we kidding? In most situations, if you're, uh, if you're a new client and you come to Adobe and you buy a solution, you get launch, why would you use anything else? I mean, it's a great, it's a great solution. There are some, there are some situations, Cheyenne, I'm looking at you where, where maybe it didn't work, doesn't work for you, but, um, uh, you know, it does, it does, you know, beginners well, it does experts well. I mean, one thing I didn't mention is there's a full API. Um, anything you can do in the UI, you can do through it, um, an API. So, um, uh, you know, if you have a really tech savvy team, you could um, really kind of automate some things. If you need to have a, um, an environment that mirrors all your others with slight different changes, like, you know, you, you, could, you could save yourself tens or hundreds of hours with, with the API. So um, everything else I said applies as well. So. so I think Telium has two key value propositions. I think uh, service is uh, one of the biggest ones. Obviously, they've put a huge emphasis on that. Uh, but I think the other, uh, the other key thing to keep in mind with them is they've got a team of people that are implementing integrations and creating new tags for their library. And that's strictly what they do. So, you know, if you look at something like GTM, there's maybe 15 different tags that you can configure out of the box before you start having to mess with code. Helium has thousands um, and they keep them up to date. So I think they do a really good job of making it easy for marketers in a large scale organization to configure tags because there's a wide range of different solutions out there that people could be chasing down. And Telium's focused on trying to capture all those solutions and make them easy to deploy on your site without any uh, IT involvement. So uh, I think Telium's a, a good pick for a big company. So GTM is the most user-friendly one out there by far. Um, I think everybody, may, maybe launch can can go, you know, go against it there. Um, very simple, but very powerful. I like the updates that they release every now and then. Um, I don't know when they do it, but every now and then they'll release an update and that update, you know, is like, now there's this new regex table variable that didn't exist before. And so many use cases where you had to use custom code are now eliminated, right? And I think that's what a tag manager should do at the end of the day is eliminate the need for custom code um, I think you'll never eliminate the need for a developer. Um, you know, you'll always need one, whether it's in the application side or to manage GT, you know, the tag manager itself. Uh, but, but I think GTM, because of the, the community more than anything else, I think it's a great choice. All right. So for Insighten, I think this tool is, you know, it's trying to, to, how do I say this? To define itself separate from the rest. Uh, I think they are trying to focus on the privacy settings and uh, they have this other slew of tools that I think are not very well known. And I think they're amazing. Um, I think we've, you know, I've used the Pulse tool, uh, you know, separately in, in different things. It can get complicated. So, you know, I think, I think we just have to face that fact that Insighten is very developer friendly. Um, you definitely need a developer if you go in Saiten. Like if you if you buy in Saiten thinking you won't, you know. And, and I think that's like probably one of the biggest lies of the industry is that a tag manager, with a tag manager, you no longer need dev resources, right? That's not true, uh, especially not with Saiten. But with the support that Saiten provides, I think you're you're pretty safe. Mm -hmm.